today is going to be a very, very short day, I'm afraid. Um, I've got clay that I've got to replenish. And I wasn't down here soon enough today to start softening up a block, a half a block of clay. And that's going to take uh, most of the afternoon to do it so I can cut it apart. Time to play with some clay. I got a half a block of clay um, underneath the light right now. I'm going to turn the heat on in the studio because it's cold in here. And because of being cold, it won't soften as good without some heat. And uh, I'm going to do that and cut it up uh, tomorrow. And uh, I've just made a change. I saw this last week and I didn't do anything with it. But I made a change on the front horse. I brought him further forward so that he's more exposed. Let me get this drill out of the way and turn this around so you can see it from that distance. But I wanted to bring that one horse out a little bit more. I might change the center horse's head a little bit because I don't like the position uh, where it's at right now. I'll work with that one. Um, but I took the leg off the ground. This is a real good support, this metal support. And I took the front leg off the ground so that it looks like he's almost flying through the air. Um, and that's the way I'm going to have him, uh, running. The, uh, hind legs are off the ground. The front leg is off the ground. The only leg touching the ground is that one. But to make that a, uh, so that I can support it, because if I don't, in bronze, that'll just start bending. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have his tail hitting the leg and body of this horse. And that way, uh, cast in bronze, it will act as a uh, support for the uh, figure of this horse to give it that illusion that it's running and off the ground in the back and in the front. This one in the back, I'm still going to be playing with that one. I'm limited to the uh, base that I've got right now. I can increase it, I think, but I think I'm going to leave it the way that is right now. But all these things can change in the long run. So that's what I'm going to do next time, which will be tomorrow. Um, I'll start uh, working on this horse in the front. And uh, I'll probably take the head off and work on that separate or just do it separately. That's another thing I need to do. I need to uh, print out uh, the uh, skull of the horse at the proper proportions to this horse so I can take measurements off that. All right. Sorry, it's a short day. It's a new year. And I've got, let's see, 365 days in a year. Three of them are gone. I got 362 days to create more stuff. Till next year. <laughs> next year I'll be 78 years old. Well, actually this year I'll be 78. I can't believe I'm going to be that old. Holy cow. Wow. I'm getting old, people. Don't know how much longer I can do this. Right now, I feel like I did when I was 30, so I don't feel anything keeping me from creating. But uh, you never know. Life changes in a second. All right, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.